Hello everybody, this is Fred with Wentworth CCTV of New England and we are coming at you with a video today on how existing ingenious access point users um, in campgrounds and marinas, systems that have been installed four or five, six years ago, how we can remote manage these access points uh, with a cloud-based controller, which is Easy Master, using Amazon's AWS service. It's a very simple setup process and we're going to cover it now. All right, let's get into the meat and potatoes. Before we start uh, this video, please like our page. There's a red subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. Please click that and give us comments, give us feedback, let us know how we're doing. Okay, so the very first thing you want to do, um, you'll see a link uh, in this video's description um, that says Easy Master on AWS. Um, and when you click that link, you'll be redirected to Ingenius's um, Easy Master installation page. And this will walk you through step by step um, what you need to do with Amazon and AWS to create a free account um, that will, again, allow you to create an EC2 instance um, to run this Easy Master program remotely um, and be able to manage your access points remotely. Um, so the first thing you want to do is follow these instructions and to create um, an Amazon AWS account. We're going to do that right now. Okay, so we have obviously created an account previously. When you follow those steps that were in the Ingenious um, PowerPoint presentation, you're going to end up um, with an IP address, which is basically your Easy Master running. Um, so if we open that, All right, so let's log in. Um, I have locations already set up. You will not. Um, so what you are going to have to do is go to the project tab here, and you're going to want, uh, you, we're going to want to create a new project, right? Um, and this is just going to be the name of the project. Um, as discussed, this video uh, was requested by a subscriber who manages Marina. Um, so we can just put Marina Wi-Fi, okay? More realistically, you would put the name of the location. You could do Stratford KOA. Um, you could do Naples KOA. You could put wherever this Wi-Fi system is at. You can also put a description if you are so inclined. Hit Apply. Uh, it says you have created the project successfully. Um, now we need to configure devices. Okay, we need to add devices um, for this Marina Wi-Fi. And how do we do that? Very simply. We're going to go up on the top. You'll see four icons, home, project settings, global settings, and device inventory. When you hit device inventory, it's going to let you add the access point. Okay, um, so we're going to add a device, and it wants the device's a MAC address and check code, and also the description that you place for that access point. Um, so what we're going to do is an example. I have a access point online here. And we are going to log into that. Um, and I will show you how to get the MAC address in the check digit. All right, so we will log into our access point. Um, and when you log into an ingenious access point, um, you're going to be in the device status tab. And you will see here the MAC address um, and the registration code. Okay, so the MAC address, we want to use the LAN or the wired MAC address. We do not want to use the 5 gigahertz wireless MAC address. So you want to use the first MAC address. Um, we'll go ahead and enter that. And then it says it wants a colon and the check code. All right, so we'll put our colon here and we will get that check code right here. here. Then we'll do another semicolon and the description will be test AP. Okay, so once you input that information, you should be able to register the device um, and Easy Master will tell you whether or not that process was successful. Yep, device registered successfully. All right, now that we have added the device, we are going to go into our project tab 
and we are going to find our marina Wi-Fi. Um, and right now, um, there is no um, access point added to it. It's going to show the newest device that you register as pending approval, okay? Um, it is not assigned to anybody yet. Um, and this knows it. So we're going to pick this, which is our demo AP, and we're going to add it to the Wi-Fi Marina, the Marina Wi-Fi group. Um, so we've added that. Now what we want to do, well, first of all, you'll see it will go through a series of connecting and updating um, to get it under management. So we'll go ahead and pause this video while it goes through that process. It takes a couple minutes. All right, kids, so it shows us now that the access point is online. Um, that is great. So we will now go into device management and we want to set up a group, um, which is basically the broadcast SSID information. Um, so we're going to create a new group here. Um, you can put the group name. There you go, Marina Wi-Fi. You can put a description if you like. Um, Member setting, okay. Um, there's one managed access point. Um, so we wanna add that. And it will tell you it's our demo AP. All right, so now we've attached this access point um, to our Marina Wi-Fi group. And we're gonna set up its wireless settings. Okay, you would obviously pick your country to make sure you're in compliance with wireless standards. Um, uh, and we're going to leave this, okay? Now, this is the beauty of the Easy Master, okay? If these access points were local, you would have to set up the channel, the transmit power. Um, you'd have to set up everything. Um, the cloud is going to, not the cloud, the Easy Master is going to take care of that for you, okay? Um, so we're going to leave this. We're going to leave this um, on auto. Um, we're going to go to our SSID and we're going to create our broadcast. Okay. Obviously, you have dual band access points. You want to enable both 2.4 and 5. Um, for this, we'll just put Marina test. Okay. Um, band steering. Um, we will steer towards the five gigahertz frequency. As we know, um, that's faster. There are more channels and less congestion on the five gigahertz band. So we're going to tell, um, you know, Easy Master to put devices that are within a minus 75 dBm signal strength. We're going to direct them to the five gigahertz band. Um, beautiful. Captive portal, you can enable a captive portal. Um, if you so desire, that would be a welcome splash screen. There's a link below on how to set all of that up. We're not gonna cover that in this video, but you can do a customized splash screen. Traffic shaping would be limiting a client, which is a user, um, to a certain amount of bandwidth. So generally that would be something like two. You know, we don't want users to use more than two Mbps of your bandwidth. Um, you figure if you have a hundred Mbps from your internet service provider, if each user can use two, then 50 people online would be your resources, right? Um, so we wanna limit that. A lot of people don't limit bandwidth and that's why your systems crash when you get busy. Um, the next thing we want to enable is security, okay? Um, let's do WPA2PSK which is a simple passphrase, and we can just do test one, two, three, four, okay? Um, once that's in place, we can also enable fast roaming. What fast roaming is, if you have multiple access points in your facility, when fast roaming is enabled with WPA2PSK, um, your folks can roam around the campground, the marina, uh, the property in their phone or tablet or laptop, whatever they have, will stay connected to the access points. They won't have to log into them individually. Um, so as you can see, Easy Master offers a bunch of goodies. Okay, so we'll go ahead and save that. Um, and we'll hit apply. This is going to go through some provisioning. Um, so we will, um, actually, we don't have to, I was going to say we're going to end the video, but um, 
Let's go back into our project. Okay, our Marina Wi-Fi. And the changes are applying to the access point. So once this is online, um, we will take out the trusty cell phone. Actually, we can do it right on this laptop. We will connect to the SSID so you can see how that worked. All right, and as you see, we are connected to the broadcast SSID that we created, and you have successfully configured and adopted a ingenious access point um, to the EasyMaster remotely using Amazon AWS. Hopefully this video was helpful. Please like our page, subscribe, and give us comments, and we'll see you in the field.